Hey, Star Wars action figure collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review, and this time I have Rey in her Jakku outfit and BB-8 from the Star Wars The Black Series 2015 6-inch line. Of course, this just hit retail. Um, retails for $19.99. Uh, I'm excited about this figure. I wasn't so excited about it at first because I had seen some pictures and her face looked pretty bad, but BB-8 looks incredible and after seeing the figure uh, i got one that had some really great paint apps and i'm excited to see what she's all about so there's the packaging once again i love the red um portrait there at the bottom there's the little synopsis there if you'd like to pause and read as i focus for you guys and yeah let's go ahead and take her out all right you guys so here's ray out of the packaging and for the most part i'm very happy with this figure i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and as I mentioned before, I had seen pictures of her and her face looked horrible. And it's not perfect, but it's better than what we've seen recently with some female uh, facial sculpts. And there's definitely a likeness to to uh, Daisy Ridley. I mean, there I see it there, you know, um, especially when you kind of look at her from certain angles. And, uh, you know, I don't think she's that good looking to begin with. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if her face does her any justice, but I think so. Um, but I did see a lot of pics too with some, um, or reviews of different, uh, mistakes and just bad paint apps all over the face, but I actually got a really decent one, so I'm very happy with that. As you can see, there's some, you know, slight imperfections here and there, but for the most part, and you can almost see some sort of, like, gray right there, right by these, um, right here where the hair is dangling. But for the most part, it's uh, it's it's pretty good. I do like it, like the blush, um, on the cheeks. That's a nice touch, and I just really like her uh, hair sculpt. I think that's really cool. Uh, the paint apps on on the hair, what uh, is very nice, at least on mine. So just some nice sculpting work there with her three ponytail bun things there. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I have her uh, staff over her. Um, head there. Um, you could also display it, of course, here on the shoulder, and it kind of hangs okay. Um, I kind of like the way it hangs uh, over the head, but um, yeah, it doesn't stay too well on the shoulders. I mean, you can you can definitely uh, fiddle with it, and it'll, it'll stay on there, so um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, for the most part, I do like the um, paint applications. I think it's a, it's a great sculpt. Very nice indeed. Um, this, I just don't like the way it was sculpted. I think if we had gotten a softer, more bendable plastic, that would have been cool. Something like that. Um, this just looks weird. I mean, because if she's holding it on, you know, if she's holding it in her hand like this, that's not very realistic. So, or not have it at all, you know, I, I don't know. Or make it removable somehow. But it is what it is, and it, it, she looks fine holding on to it. It's not a big deal. Uh, the rest of the figure's actually re done really well. I definitely like the sculpting on the rest of her outfit, the bandages and the s long scarf thing here, skirt. It's a softer plastic. And paint applications were, for the most part, applied pretty well. Here, you know, there's some missing paint there, and then there's some pink right there for some reason. I don't know what that is. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's the pink from the blush. They really <laughs> missed the mark on that one. But, um, very cool. I mean, I mean, the bag is sculpted really nice there. I definitely like that. And the belt, uh, for the most, this is probably one of the better looking belts. It seems like the belts is where a lot of the, uh, missed opportunities happen in regards to paint applications. You know, as you can see there, there's a little bit of paint missing. But nothing major, nothing you can really notice unless you're looking at the figure closely. But, uh, and there's some yellow there. So, you know, it's not perfect, but I doesn't really bug me in the long run. You know, luckily that pink is kind of, that stands out to me more, but it's not really noticeable when you look at the figure in certain ways, in certain ways, but the, I mean, the rest of the figure is, is fantastic. You know, the boots, I like the sculpting there. The texture is really nice. Nice flesh tone color. I mean, that, I think it looks really cool. She looks great. I think this is a great Ridley. I mean, Ray, I said Ridley. <laughs> I'm thinking alien. So I'm happy with it. I'm very, very happy with it. Articulation, you've uh, got the ball hinge joint head here. 
that has a lot of side but not too much up and down. Uh, she does have a little ab crunch side to side. Uh, she has the hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, hinged wrists. You got the ball hinge on the hips. You got the upper thigh swivel there. You got the hinged knees. And then you've got the hinged ankles with the uh, rocker. So um, I'm happy with Ray. I think, I think she looks cool. Very happy. Of course, the highlight of the pack is uh, BB-8. <laughs> you know, this guy is becoming... I mean, I shouldn't even say becoming. He is super popular and um you know for many reasons you know my my daughter loves bb8 she was playing with this all day yesterday it's it's fantastic this is what makes the pack a lot of people were saying i'm gonna sell my array and keep bb8 <laughs> this is a great figure it's just it's it really is i mean it's just wonderful paint apps there's some weathering going on just the beautiful sculpting the head is is great and get really close in here just look at that. Just the weathering, the detail, the paint applications. There's some missed marks here, especially with the orange, but it just looks really good. Top of the dome. Got the soft plastic antennae here. He's awesome. And the head swivels, kind of, you know, as you can see, there's the joint and it just kind of goes back and forth. It looks really cool. Um, and it's he's got a little oomph to him. There's some heavier plastic here at the bottom, so he kind of stands there. You just gotta kind of position his head the right way, and he'll he'll stand up straight. There you go. I'm not gonna fiddle with him too much, but uh, yeah, he's awesome. I really like this guy. So he definitely completes. You know, it, it's great that we get this Ray, and then the fact that we get him along with her, and you know, he's a good size, and he's he's great. They didn't cheap out on BBA, in my opinion. Pick it up. Definitely a must get. Um, this one seems like it's gonna be kind of hard to get too, only because of BBA. But definitely recommend picking this up. All right, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And until next time, may the force be with you.